enjoy learning English words in sentences with Hassan. Welcome to our channels English with Hassan 1 and English with Hassan 2. Go to the first word. The first word is an. 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 A-N. So, an in grammar is called indefinite article. We use it with nouns that start with a vowel. For example, apple. We don't say a apple. We say an apple. An apple. Let's see the example. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So this is a proverb. So a sentence that has a special meaning. So if you eat an apple a day, it keeps you healthy. So you are not going to see the doctor if you eat healthy food. Let's go to the second example. Ancient, ancient, ancient. So ancient means very, very old. Let's see the example. Ancient wisdom echoes through the ages. Ancient wisdom echoes through the ages. Ancient wisdom echoes through the ages. So ancient, very old. Wisdom is the experience of the people who had lived many years. Echoes is through the ages, along the ages, and yeah, many years. The ages, it means many years. So ancient wisdom or knowledge echoes is through the ages. Let's go to the next example. As I said before, if you don't understand the sentence, and, and, and. So it's in grammar, it's called conjunction. Conjunction is a word that help us connect or coordinate or join two sentences or two words or two phrases. Let's see the example. I know you and I trust you. I know you and I trust you. I know you and I trust you. So I know you, I know your name, your country, your family, and I trust you. I uh, don't have any problem to believe whatever you say to me. So the next example is in the negative form. I don't know you and I don't trust you. I don't know you and I don't trust you. I don't know you and I don't trust you. So why I gave in this slide two examples? Because you use and when we have positive positive or negative negative. We cannot use negative and, and positive. For example, I don't know you and I trust you and it's not correct. So we use but. I don't know you but I trust you. But when we have positive positive or negative negative we use and so I don't know you I don't know your name your country your family and I don't trust you I can't believe whatever you say to me so I know you and I trust you I don't know you and I don't trust you let's go to the next example the next example is angry 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 the example the next example is angry 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 the example you're always angry. So some people, they are always shouting, shouting, shouting. So these people are angry people. You're always angry. You're always angry. Let's go to the next example. Angrily, the adverb, the adjective angry, the adverb angrily. So in uh, an angry way, angrily. Let's see the example. Emma left the meeting angrily. Emma, so there is a full stop miss, uh, missing at the end of this sentence, so put full stop. Emma left the meeting angrily. Emma left the meeting angrily. So Emma uh, went out of the meeting angrily. Uh, she wasn't happy because of something happened in the meeting. So Emma left the meeting. 
animal 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 so the dog is an animal the cat is an animal let's see examples the lamb is a cute animal the lamb is a cute animal the lamb is a cute animal so as you notice we didn't pronounce or i, I didn't pronounce b so when we have m and after it b b is silent the lamb is a cute animal the lamb is a cute animal the lamb is the baby of the sheep or the uh, the sheep so the lamb is a cute animal let's go animals 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 let's see the example if you want to see animals go to the zoo if you want to see animals go to the zoo if you want to see animals go to the zoo so it's very simple so the zoo is where we keep animals we protect them and we give them food there if you want to see animals go to the zoo let's go to the next example animals 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 let's see the example if you want to see animals go to the zoo if you want to see animals go to the zoo if you want to see animals go to the zoo so it's very simple so the zoo is where we keep animals we protect them and we give them food there if you want to see animals go to the zoo the next example answer 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 so we have a question and we have the answer you didn't give me 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 the answer i'm still waiting for your answer until now you didn't give me the answer so i asked you a question but you didn't answer me so you didn't give me the answer let's go to the next example answers 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 an example all your answers are correct all your answers are correct all your answers are correct it means that you answered all the questions correctly you didn't have any mistakes or wrong answers or incorrect answers all your answers are correct let's go to the next example answer 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 as a verb let's see the example answer the questions fully answer the questions fully answer the questions fully it means don't give me a short answer so give me a full That's the end of this video. To support us, subscribe, like, comment and share.